This video is just a quick preview of one of over 200 step-by-step -step percussion lessons included in our Conga Chops membership. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe and head over to congachops.com to start your free seven-day trial and check out everything we've got on the site. Now that we've started to develop a foundation using simple phrases and concepts based on eighth notes and quarter notes in our binary grid, it's time to work on mastering triplet figures in the tertiary grid. So we'll be dealing with figures that involve six evenly spaced notes in a bar of 4-4 or cut time, which are quarter note triplets, and at times subdividing them into 12 evenly spaced notes in a bar of 4-4 or cut time, which involve eighth note triplets. Now, the presence of phrases using triplets even while playing rhythms in 4-4 or cut time is truly a quintessential part of the Afro-Cuban percussive language, due in part to the fact that Cuba has such an immensely diverse landscape of rhythms and musical styles that are based both in 4-4 or cut time, as well as a wealth of rhythms and styles based in 6-8 or 12-8. So the very nature that these rhythms coexist in a shared physical space on the island of Cuba, as well as in many cases within their ancestral roots in Africa, has made it impossible to keep them from influencing one another in a musical sense. So to get comfortable with this triplet grid, let's start by working on a simple exercise where we'll play two bars of quarter notes followed by two bars of quarter note triplets, then two bars of eighth note upbeats followed by two bars of quarter note triplet upbeats, and finally one bar of rest. We'll write the quarter note triplet upbeats using eighth note triplets so it's easier to count the spaces visually in between each note, which also allows us to feel the subdivision with more accuracy. I'll play all of the accents in my right hand and use my left to play subtle ghost tones in the spaces between to help us subdivide the beat. So feel free to sing along or play the subdivisions as you work on this slowly. One, two, three, four. At this slower tempo, it can be quite challenging to keep a steady pulse while playing this exercise. So make sure you're really focusing on the space in between each note using your breath or subtle ghost tones if you need to, to relax and lock up with the metronome. So now let's work on this same exercise in cut time, which means that the metronome pulse will remain the same, but we'll be counting twice as fast. We'll play two bars of each subdivision, this time followed by two bars of rest in cut time. And be sure to listen to the verbal count off to help lead you into playing the right tempo. One, two, one, two, three, four.
Now that we're getting an idea of the basic grid, let's work on a few rhythms to get us comfortable playing each triplet in the bar. We'll start off by playing every quarter note triplet in the bar. Then, we'll subtract one note at a time until we're left with only the last quarter note triplet in the bar. And feel free to practice counting along as you play, making sure that each figure is played accurately. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now, if you're interested in learning more about what we do on Conga Chops and how we can help you further your skills, come check us out at congachops.com. We've got an incredible library of step-by-step -step courses and lessons, over 10 hours of exclusive practice loops, hand-picked Spotify playlists for each pertinent course and lesson on the site, and an amazing community forum where you can meet and discuss with other members, as well as get one-on-one -on -one feedback on everything you're working on. Just click the link below to grab your free seven-day trial and see what it's all about. Now, please don't forget to show your support for our channel by giving this video a like, leaving a comment down below as far as what you'd like to see me cover next, and hitting subscribe so you can catch our new videos. I'll see you in the next lesson.